Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk a little bit about hypertensive agents. There's a nice article uh, about them. It's always not incomplete when you have to talk about 15, 20 different medications. But it's in the Archives of Internal Medicine. So it's geared to uh, people like um, general practitioners, internists, uh, people who are right on the front line. And they did talk in about a page and a half about various things that are very important. First of all, they had a big meta-analysis. In other words, getting a lot of people, hundreds of thousands of people out in the world who are doing things to find out how well uh, they can feel and be. And so what we talk about is how the physicians decide how well they are doing on these agents. You know, we have been talking to people for years and years about how hard it is to get good uh, analysis of situations where people take these things, and the endpoints have all changed. It was first just heart attacks and strokes, then it's a situation where heart failure, and this is what we're talking about now, creeps in there if you don't have things adequately involved. So these are very important uh, situations. And what they found is that they, for the first time, could look to see how well women would do. Women are under-treated, under-analysis, uh, under-research. Uh, very little is known about them. And yet they are the ones who have most of the impact of not having their blood pressure co well controlled. So all these things are very interesting to most people. Diastolic heart failure is one of the things that bother them most of all. So this is a bad problem. But going through all the things, I would say one thing is what we learned from this as well as other times we've been involved in this. And that is one agent, the RAS inhibitor, is the only really new thing and everything else up to this time has been damned by most of the studies. We know that the beta blockers in Europe, for example, are being knocked down, taken off, and even uh, Metoprol in uh, Germany has been taken from the market so that there's active concern by everybody. And if it isn't measuring up, it's not good for anybody. We have used something called Valterna to good effect. We find that the advantage is twofold. One, it models not only the vasculature of the hypertension like in your brain and so forth, but also the vasculature around your heart and things such as this. Uh, Valterna is both diavan, which is an ARB, and we have something also that it's in the same category as something that models the arteries back to normal. Getting rid of the trash in your kidneys that come from the adrenal gland contributing to the high blood pressure. So all of a sudden, this particular agent does very well to make things normal. That's why we like it, because we have the way to measure how well you're doing with the, with the long-term output, is that we can make everybody become normal in terms of your age of your arteries. As many of you who have been in, the Wall Street Journal article from last uh, April does something that says, you know, you're only as old as your arteries, and if your arteries are old, that's trouble. So that what we've been able to do is to keep people in a good place for a time, find we can reverse everything to being very useful again and stopping the hypertensive medication. Now, you just can't stop it because it's a good thing. You have to measure the things that we use to measure how well we're doing. It's very good, and it's thrilling to be able to do this. You were always told, as I was always told, to tell you that you're on something for the rest of your life. Get over it. Take it. It's good for you. It can be in a place now when we can be so good that your blood pressure will be so low that we must discontinue it. Keep it up with other things like our arginine and the like. And all of a sudden we've got a range of health that comes out of this, this un, unobserved before. And that's where I really will tell you it's your time.